Tacoma customized skid plate install should be pretty cool. <music> morning everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today I am going to be installing my customized Toyota Tacoma TRD skid plate. It's sitting right down there and by customized I mean obviously I painted it black and I added the uh, the TRD lettering that you can see right there in orange across the top just to kind of give a little bit of pop to the front of the truck. So we're going to go ahead take off the existing skid plate which is four bolts and then we're gonna muscle this thing up there and get it installed. And I say muscle it because it's kind of heavy. Okay, here we go. This takes a 12 millimeter socket. There are four bolts to remove the existing skid plate. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So we're gonna go ahead and get those off. There is a little hanger type device here. So when it comes down, it will swing and it's not just gonna fall off. That's important, so you're ready for it. Let's go ahead, pull these off. just kind of hangs like that makes it a lot easier to take down and I didn't know that the first time I did this so just lift it up and it comes right off like so pretty easy set this thing aside move on to the next step okay next up we need a 17 millimeter socket we're gonna remove these bolts right here there's one here and it's the only one and then following it on down there's one here in the back it's the furthest back to the uh, rear same thing on this side, the furthest bolt back to the rear, and then there are two over here. You want the inside one, so the one closest to the passenger side. Again, we're gonna use our handy dandy little tool, just makes things a lot easier. that's it that's all the bolt removal we have to do and by the way the bolts that came with the skid plate they're going to go in these holes so you're not going to be reusing these i don't believe matter of fact you're not it's the screws that come on the new skid plate that you can see or the bolts rather actually go into those holes and then two other ones there in the back all right got it all set up to go ahead and get it installed um, I used my bungees back here, of course, to hold the rear up so that I can just push the front up and engage, if you will, the bolts here um, in these holes. And you're supposed to do this front first, then back, and then center. Um, and the reason is so that it doesn't bind. So I'm going to go ahead, lift this thing up, and uh, fasten it in. Okay, we've rustled it all up there. I will tell you that once you have the front bolt secure, then you're supposed to move to the back. And there's a lot of spring in this thing, if you will. You really have to push up on it to be able to get these bolts in. We did it in order. We did the front, then the back. Then I actually, to be honest, I did put the middle ones in loosely just to hold it up while I wrestled with these back bolts here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, torque it down. Hey, a couple of features on this real quick. We do have the panel here to remove so that we can gain access uh, to the oil filter so you don't have to remove the whole skid plate um, and then back here is of course the uh, drain plug for the oil so you don't have to take the thing off it's up there I did touch up the bolts from uh, scraping them okay we have got it done it is on I gotta say this is probably the third time I've put one of these on a Tacoma and this was the easiest by far. Uh, looks pretty good, fit well, so I can confirm that at least through 2020, uh, these do still fit. They didn't change them up or do anything funky with them. 
Um, again, it wasn't that difficult to put on. I actually used the uh, recovery boards. These, I actually used them today uh, to kind of sit this on with a box on one end to kind of leverage it up. Worked pretty well. Didn't even have to use the bungee cords today. So I'm very happy with it. Anyway, let me get you guys off the tripod. We'll get some shots of this and then I'm gonna take it out and get some stills of it, I guess. I might do a walk around too. But out in the light, just to see with the level that I have on the truck, exactly how well you can see this. Now, there is another mod coming to the front here. Uh, they will be D-rings, tow hooks, whatever you wanna call them, in orange, of course. But that's gonna be a different video, so don't miss that one. It's gonna kinda of finish off the front of the truck, at least underneath here. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. That's my endeavor for the day. Actually, there were a couple other things I did today, but those are other videos. Now, one thing you might be wondering, because of course I was on a quest to level out my truck, did the extra weight actually bring the front down anymore? Now, it wasn't spot on anyway. You know, you're never gonna get it just perfect. If you can, you're really talented. So, I put it on and it weighs about probably 30 pounds, I would guess, shot in the dark more than the stock skid plate does. The stock skid plate is like a, I don't know, eighth inch steel, aluminum, I don't know, but it's very light. So about 30 pounds more weight get gained in the front by adding that skid plate on. And I did measure it, comes out to be about 36 and a half inches in the front. That's from the ground up to the center of the, the fender, the wheel well. And then the back was about 36 and just shy of three quarters. So it's point something higher in the back, which is okay. I don't mind having a little bit of rake on the truck, but I don't want the nose pointing up in the air. So I'm okay with that. No big deal. I'm happy with the way that it looks. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.